Hey girls and guys, it is Sarah from Style Let's Play and we are back with another episode of Glitch Girl and the last episode was kind of crazy. We already know that Seth proposed. Now it's up to us to decide whether or not we are going to accept this proposal or not. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Are we going to have the most romantic proposal ever or are we going to break Seth's heart? Dun dun dun! All right, so here we go. I'm excited. So episode nine is called Blood Orange. Okay, okay. <gasps> there he is, Seth getting down on one knee. Grace Griffin, will you marry me? Oh, shook. Oh my gosh. So I decided to leave it to you guys. And I would say about 90% of you guys said to say yes. So it looks like we're getting married. Yes, I love you too, Seth, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Ah, you have no idea how happy you've just made me. Plus, it was in front of a whole audience. It's kind of awkward to say no. She'll seem really evil. <laughs> Grandma, I have some pretty exciting news. Seth and I are getting married. Can you believe it? I'm going to make your granddaughter very happy, Mrs. Griffin and I'll always look after her. You don't think I can look after myself? I will look after her on those occasions where she is unable to look after herself, which is very rare, I admit. <laughs> you always said you couldn't wait to see me get married. Well, get you a nice outfit and a fancy hat. How about that? We just gotta hope that there are no blue droids attacks on that day. By then, this could all be over. We have Zero's name and address now. All we gotta do is find her and arrest her, right? I guess. Oh yeah, Grandma, I haven't even told you yet. The zero guy who planted the bomb, then unleashed all the corrupted blue droids? Turns out he's not a guy at all. He's a she. And she's an ex Electrobit employee. Elisa Smexki, I think? You might have even worked with her at some point. Can you believe it was her who did this to you? Grandma still says nothing. I hope by the end of this story, the grandma speaks. We should confront Alyssa tomorrow. Once we arrest her for her all her crimes, all of the blue droid attacks end. It'll be kind of weird not having anyone to rescue, won't it? This is New Vork. There'll always be people to rescue. When the blue droid attacks are over, there's still gonna be thefts, smugging, stabbings. This city will always need superheroes. That is true. The following day, Alyssa's house. Ooh, we're about to confront her. The place is completely abandoned. Not a trace of her. I knew this was, wasn't gonna be easy. She must have gone into hiding somewhere. Of course she would. She'd never be so careless as to live at the same address that's listed publicly. Where are you, Alyssa? Hmm, my phone's buzzing again. Seth, there's two blue droid attacks. It's too dangerous for us to split up. We'll have to go to one, then quickly go to the other. Which attack should we go to first? Northwest attack or central attack? Mm, if the central attack is anywhere near, like, Central Park, then let's go there. Do you want to wear the new ones I made you or the originals? Of course. Oh, no. I meant the new ones, but sometimes you got to switch it up. You know, I got kind of sweaty in the new, uh, new ones. Got it. Good. Plus, it's kind of cold tonight, you know, we're gonna cover up. <gasps> Whoa. Step away from him, you big blue oaf. <gasps> mm, I think you touched a nerve there, Grace. Quick, scan for anything you can control. Hmm. There's nothing. What about the electronic bus screen or something? Anything you can do with that? I could tell him his bus is late. <laughs> Point made. In that case, it looks like it's time to try out my latest invention. It's a specially designed gun that should frazzle the blue droid's brain chip. Keep back, Grace. Oh! Did it work? Oh, it didn't work. Oh man, it didn't work. I just angered him even more. It's because I hit him right in the face. For it to work properly, it has to hit him on the skull somewhere. I need him to turn around, but we can't put this man in any more danger. 
do we need him to turn around? What do you mean? I'll anger him and get him to come over here. Then teleport us to the other side of the bus stop, quickly. He'll be facing away from us, wondering where we've gone. This is one of the many reasons I love you, Grace. I'll get the teleporter ready. You get your insults ready. What would rile this guy up? Get over here, bub. Or James Cameron called. He needs an avatar. <laughs> James Cameron called. He said he needs an avatar for Avatar 2. Oh. Ooh. Now. Okay. Go. Burn his chip. Go on, set. <gasps> it worked. Great. I don't know what to do to thank you. Just doing our duty, sir. We love to stay and chat, but we've got another attack to attend to. Good luck. You guys are the best superheroes ever. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the other attack. Okay, she's trying to beat him up. Ooh, yes, girl. Strong and independent woman. She don't need no superheroes. <laughs> Energy woman and Electro-Man to the rescue. You're too late. I dealt with the blue droid myself. Oh, um, sorry we were late. We had to attend another attack. You're telling me you chose someone else over me? That's my life. It's, it's somehow worth less than someone else's? No, 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 it's not that. We just had to choose one and you were second. I could have died. You know what? If this were the glory days of Ultiman and an extra woman, they would have saved me. You're just a pair of cheap knockoffs. In years to come, everyone will remember Ultiman and extra woman. But no one will remember you. Oh, girl, I'm going to send some blue joys back over here so they could attack you. What did you say? <gasps> Seth, come on. Leave it. We're saving people out of the goodness of our hearts. And you stand here and insult us? Trying to tarnish our reputation? Everyone will remember Energy Woman and Electro Man. You hear me? I said, you hear me? Seth, you're scaring me. I think you've made your point. Come on, let's go home and rest. We all need some sleep. I'm so angry, Grace. It's been a stressful few days. I'll take you on a date tomorrow evening. How about that? Oh, we're seeing a dark side of Seth. The following evening. This is supposed to be date night. Seth really flipped out yesterday. He's just so passionate about being one half of a superhero duo. He looked up to Ultiman and Extra Woman for all of his childhood. I hope we can live up to them and their legacy. Just so Seth can live his dream. Anyway, this date should make him feel better. I think I'm going to put something special on for the occasion. But I like your outfit already. It was a cute little crop top hoodie. You know, it's like, oh, super cute. Ooh, girl. Yes. Slay that dress. This red dress is gorgeous. I should totally wear this more often. Yeah, go ahead. Take my diamonds. You know, just wear the dress. He's going to love this on me. Okay, so where are we going? Pizza? I'm not sure. That dress looks stunning on you, Grace. It really compliments your eyes and shows off your figure. Thanks. I knew it would work. How are you feeling now about what that woman said? I've let it go. At the time, I couldn't believe she was criticizing us when we were doing everything we can to help. But thinking about it, she's right. Turning up late wasn't good enough. But it wasn't our fault. We can't be in two places at the same time. We're gonna have to figure out how we can be. Blue droids or no blue droids, there's gonna be a time when two or more attacks are occurring at the same time. I need to invent something that will allow us to somehow attend to each of them simultaneously. Mm, but that's impossible. So was teleportation before I invented it. <laughs> what are we gonna do about finding Alyssa, Seth? My powers could only locate one picture of her online and she's gone from her only known address. I don't know. Did Corey see anything else that could help us? No, the only thing he saw was that purple necklace. You know what? I kind of find it weird that Corey isn't in this story more. I feel like he's going to come back somehow. Your eyes have kind of glazed over. You're thinking about Corey again, aren't you? Uh, uh, what? No. It's just that when I first met you, you were in love with him, weren't you? You're not still in love with him, are you? Uh, no, I don't have feelings for Corey. He actually asked 
to meet me that day because he said he still had feelings for me. Really? Yeah, but I said no. I'm with you now, Seth. You're the guy I chose to be with. That means a lot. Thank you, Grace. Aww. Fuck you. Sorry we're so late, Grandma. I'd better get you ready for bed. Oh, blood orange. The grandma spoke. Blood orange. Blood orange. Blood orange. <laughs> what the heck does that mean? You're going to title the whole episode Blood Orange and then you're not going to tell me what Blood Orange means. Uh, what does it say? Your grandma spoke. What's going on? What else will she say? And what dress will you wear to your wedding? <gasps> okay. I'm a little bit shook. I'm a little bit... Okay. Blood Orange. What could it possibly mean? I have no idea what that could mean. None at all. It's like they have like a blood moon, which is like a red moon, which I'm trying to think like what could blood orange mean, but I have no idea. But I'm kind of excited and I didn't expect there to be an actual wedding, but if there is, we're going to make the perfect dress. Yes. And also, um, like I said, I kind of find it weird that Corey was just so important to the story at the start, but then he hasn't been in it since. So I definitely think he's going to be back, but it's just whether he's going to be back to help us or to destroy us. Dun, dun, dun. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys had fun watching. By the way, a lot of you guys have been telling me to read um, one of the news stories. Why can I not think of it right now at the top of my head? Ah, it was actually this one, Positively Princess. Um, so I will read this story once I am done with Glitch Girl. I just don't want to read two stories at once. I just want to finish one and then we'll, we will eventually do the other one. So let me know what you guys think of that in the comments below. Once again, I hope you guys had fun watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.